Okay. Gimbal stuck. Just because I forgot to take the cover off. This thing is so smart. Take the little cover off. Oh, there you go, gimbal. Freedom. This is in a safe place, so I'm gonna step on it. Okay. Hi everyone, don't be like me and forget an important step of preparing for a successful drone launch and mission. In this video, I'm gonna show you a high level overview of how to get you started with a free iOS app I found that makes it easy and quick to do pre-flight checklists. I've tried paper checklists in the past, similar to what I use on my, I've attached to my Maverick Air 2 bag. So this is like a simple che checklist that I've attached to the back of my FAA certification ID um, that I use and has been successful and actually has made things much better and more smooth for me when I'm having my flights without as many issues and errors that I've had. But that only takes it so far. If you really want to take it to the next level of having a checklist that's more robust, then uh, I'm going to show you how to do that with this simple app that you can record and have history of your missions and your flight locations and other things that you might want to collect. So let's go ahead and dig in and I'll show you how to do that. First thing, go to the app store and type in I auditor and search. And you'll see this I auditor business checklist app comes up. You can see I've already downloaded it here, but uh, click on download for you and it will download and install. Go ahead and click open. Don't need to go through all this. Typically people know how to do this part. Click on try for free. There's absolutely no credit card, no obligation. Type your email address, put a password in, and you'll end up creating an account. Once you've downloaded the app and you've created an account and you've logged in, now the next step is to find a template and edit that template the way you want to. So you can do that either on the app if you want to, or you can do it in a web browser. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a web browser because it's a little bit easier to show on the screen and how to open each section up so you can see it a little bit bigger, but you can easily do it on the app as well. First step I do is once I hit this website, the appsafetyculture.com uh, and log in, then you land on the dashboard section here and you can see that I already have created my own Mavic Air 2 pre-flight checklist that I've modified from an existing template. So I have it working just the way I want it. But I wanna create one and show you how to create one from a pre-existing template that you can find out in the public library. So you go to templates, public library, and you search. And if you search for a general drone pre-flight checklist, then click search, you will find several drone pre-flight checklists out there. And you can see there's one even for a drone pre-flight checklist for Mavic Air. That's real close to mine. I looked at it, I don't like it as much. I like the first one better. It seemed like it had all the checklist items that I like better. You can look at the look through the different ones and see which ones you like better. But I'm gonna start with this one and show you how to do a few edits so you can see how easy it is and then show you how to use them. And you can see a preview of the different items in here. Uh, so this one talks about on page one, the pre-flight check where you have the crew and weather information. And then it gets into the site information and some other things. It's just the inf different pieces of information that you will find in the checklist itself. But to use this one, you just simply click on this button, you use this digital checklist, and it basically makes it part of your profile and puts it in your templates folder. So whatever you edit here is your own thing. You're not editing the master template that's out there. So the way this is laid out is, is they laid out in pages. So I'm going to collapse this. So you can see there's really two pages here on this one, information and pre-flight check. I don't know why we couldn't have put all this in just one page. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's just a different way of how you want to organize perhaps. So you have pages and then you have different categories like crew, and then you have the different questions. So you can have, you could have had information just be a category if you ask me, but it works either way. So let's make a couple of adjustments to this template. Maybe it's, uh, you want to add something uh, to it or you want to delete something or maybe uh, change something. In this case, 
you can see these are the questions for crew and it's asking for pilot and it's asking for co-pilot. Well, I, I never have a co-pilot. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to delete co-pilot. And uh, I may have an observer, so I'll leave that. And you can see here, it's got a text answer and you can, you can fill in who the observer name is uh, if you want, since it's a text. But for a pilot, it's just a text. So it's fill in a blank. So I type in my name every time. And I don't really want that. So I want to change that to have it be picked from a list of just my name or other. So I'm going to change this from a text answer to a, I'm going to create my own response. And I'm going to say response one is Jates. And then I'm going to add a response. And I'm going to say is other response is other. And I'm going to say and apply. So that's going to be the two possible answers to select from in the pilot area. I can make that mandatory if I want, but I don't have to. So there's two changes we made. We deleted one item. We changed one item. And, and maybe I want to come down or maybe let's go back to the top in the information. And I want to go into the information on the information page. I want to add maybe the site location. So I am going to click on this bottom one here and now I'm, it comes up with the uh, area where I can add a question or a section. And if you're in the app doing it, it's just along the bottom. It gives you these same three choices. Um, so I'm going to click on uh, create a new question. Just add inserts it down below it. And I'm going to type in location. And from the drop down, instead of it being a date and time, I'm going to change it simply to a location. What that does is when you're in the app and you select location, it brings up the map features of the Apple device. So you can actually zero in on the map and select a location where you're where you're at. And it'll actually navigate right to where you're at. And you can just select that location if you want, or you can select another location if you want. And then it'll store a little image in your uh, report of that map and the GPS coordinates as well. Now that we have location created, maybe I want to move that uh, up above by site name. So in this case, you can just hover over these little handles here and you can just drag it right up to the next level. So you can move these around and I can move them between pages and I can move them between sections as well. So if I wanted to move location down to the crew area, I could do that as well. Okay, I think we have enough modifications. We've made a few modifications. Now let's go to the next step and just by clicking next and that gives you a quick preview of how the form is going to look in the web view. We can also download a PDF version of that if you want to, but this is all about an online version. So we're going to keep clicking next and we're going to save and exit. So it created this general drone pre-flight checklist. It is now available in our templates. So if we go back to the app now and perform a sync, you'll see this new template that we just created is available for our use. And let's go work our way through that template over in the app. Okay, here we are back in the app in the overview section. If you go to more and then click on the sync button, it'll go ahead and sync to your account online. And now you'll have that template available to you. From the inspections tab, you'll see that we now have both the templates, my original template that I created that I use and like, and the new one. So for the purposes of this demonstration, let's click on the first one. So you can see what that looks like on your phone now. And we're gonna click start inspection. And we're gonna say flight type. This is a test flight. Site name is I'm going to fly in the estuary across the street here. And the location is if I click that little map and I click on my location, it's going to find uh, the estuary right out here somewhere. Click use location. And then I'm going to click next. And I can choose Jates as the pilot type. And you can see that's the two selections that are available that we made. I can create a note, add media. 
there are no visual observers, so I'm just going to say NA here. Done. Cloud cover. So I went into my uh, apps and looked at what the cloud cover was, and it's about 97% here. Temperatures about 51 degrees right now. Wind direction was west from the west. Wind speed was one to five miles an hour. And now we can get into the site information. So did we uh, check the NOTAMs? Yes, we checked it. Outside required proximity within the nearest airport. That's not applicable. Safe distance, yes. Clear of overhead obstructions, yes. So you get the idea. I don't need to go through this whole checklist, but the idea is, is that you can go through this whole checklist and document these things that are important to you to check in your pre-flight inspection. And then you can save these. So once we get to a place where we're all done, um, then the next step would be to mark as complete and then save uh, as in progress. Click done. And then if we go back to the in progress ones, we can see there's my estuary flight that we just had. And now I have a history of that and I can go back in and see all of the different missions that I've flown in the different locations, the dates. And I have a really nice recorded uh, area here. And I can continue to modify this and, and make it my own and make it unique and as optimized as I want for my pre-flight inspections. Okay, that's it. That's as simple as it is. It's really not that hard. It's pretty intuitive. Create a quick online pre-flight checklist and you have it available in your app. So it's easy for you to do, easy to click through as you're out in the field getting ready to launch your drone. You can go through the checklist pretty darn quickly and really make sure everything's safe and sound there. So uh, if you really enjoyed this and it was useful for you, I'd really ask that you like, comment, subscribe. That'd be helpful. Really appreciate that. Take care. We'll see you in the future. Until next time, have a safe flight. See ya.